The happy, sad moments are played up in this exhibition, which is a display of manhood by this graduate of the Audi Polytechnic Edo State. Emmanuel Isiwe looked at this same issue in his last solo exhibition in 2013, but felt he hadn't quite scratched the surface and decided to make it the headline for this show. The exhibition is very special, especially to, to the man, because it focuses on the male gender in such a manner that tends to highlight their importance, both to the family and the society, in, in, in a way that you know, most artists tend not to have um, looked at it. From the, the mind of a collector that took notice of a showing that we had earlier in 2000, I am my wife, here, this same place, and it's, you know, so I said I must repeat that, that thing that that man said, I have to bring that thing down to this place again. For those that may not know the artist's subject, the curator, Luciano Zegu, offers some clarity. He's not fixated on men. Women in colorful African fabrics and nature used to be his forte. But the need to tell the story of his life gave birth to the man collection so people can get a clearer picture of what goes on in their minds. You realize that a lot of uh, practitioners, I mean artists in this case, they use women as muse. Oftentimes, women paint women, men paint women. But men don't paint men as, as much as women paint women. So Emmanuel Isiwe has decided to look at the man, not because uh, he feels um, the man is being neglected gender-wise, but he's also thinking that if a man does not, on his own, talk about men, the subject, visit the male subject, make him the subject of artistic expression, a lot of aspects of uh, the man's life you know, will be missed. So we are trying to underline um, a lot of positive things the men represent in the family, in the society. The works of art are to just encourage other men to keep being good ambassadors and not abandon the responsibility to the women because there is no competition between both genders. There are no points to prove. Everyone has their place in the circle of life.